Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy Nummies. Last week we made popsicles and I got so many more requests this week to make popsicles but with a different recipe. So, because it's still summertime, they're really fun treats, I thought let's make popsicles again. This week we're going to be making strawberry milkshake, Super Mario popsicles, and I'm going to be using the Zoku. I found this online and it's really cool because it flash freezes popsicles so you can make cute little characters. Alright, let's get started. There are many different ingredients that you'll need to make this, but first let's start with the ingredients for the vanilla milkshake. The things you'll need will be two cups of vanilla ice cream, one cup of milk, I'm using organic nonfat, four tablespoons of regular sugar, two tablespoons of vanilla extract, and then you're gonna need separately one Granny Smith apple. And for the strawberry puree, you're gonna need 16 ounces of fresh strawberries and a fourth a cup of sugar. All right, let's put it all together. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is freeze your Zoku base. It needs 24 hours in the freezer, so put it in the day before you want to make these popsicles. So I'm gonna put this back in the freezer to keep it nice and cold while we make the strawberry puree. I don't have a food processor or a puree puree mach fancy machine, so I'm just gonna stick 16 ounces of my fresh strawberries into my blender. And you're gonna add your sugar. Puree. Dang it. <laughs> Are the blades not on there? I've done that before. Once your strawberries are all mixed up, boop, you're just gonna take a little strainer and a bowl. Then you're just gonna pour your strawberries through the strainer to catch any big seeds. Last step is I'm gonna pour my strawberry puree into a measuring cup with a pour spigot. Cause it just makes making the popsicles a little bit easier. Now we're gonna make the vanilla milkshake. I love milkshakes, another fun summer treat, anything with ice cream. You're just gonna add two cups of ice cream and you're gonna pour your milk, a little bit of sugar, vanilla, and we're gonna blend it together until everything's combined. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, mine's better than yours and I'm like, you're, that's probably true. Once your mixtures are made, now we are gonna do our decorations. This is really cool. This is gonna blow your mind, I promise. It's pretty neat. There's a lot of little Zoku gadgets going on, but I'm gonna show you how to make the little decorations and details for all these little characters. So the first thing you're gonna do is take your apple and you're gonna cut it into slices. Now you're gonna take these little circle, they look like mini cookie cutters, they're little circles, and I'm gonna be using the bigger one that it came with, and you're just gonna cut out a ton of these into your apple. Once you've got your apple circles cut out, you're just gonna dip them into a little bit of water. I got a bowl of water right here. Just dip them in there, bloop, like so. And then you're gonna place them on top of this rubber spatula. It's like a popsicle spatula. And you're just gonna place them wherever you like. We just took the Zoku out. I've just put it on its side. And then what you're gonna do is put this straight in and then press up. And then, ta-da, they're not there. It's kinda like in the winter time if there's a frozen pole and you were to lick it, it will stick. Same concept going on here. And now you're just gonna do that to the other two popsicle molds. Now we've got our apples in there, you're just gonna turn it back this way, upright, and then you're gonna take these little popsicle sticks and just stick them in there. The kit comes with six of them, but you make three at a time. And then the first thing that we're gonna do is pour in our strawberry puree, and you're only gonna fill it about halfway, so just eyeball it. Mm, I'm looking in here and the strawberry puree looks frozen, so now I'm gonna pour in the vanilla milkshake. Really careful, you wanna pour really slow because you don't wanna touch the sides. Now that the milkshake is all in there, we're just gonna let it sit again for about eight minutes or until it looks frozen. The vanilla milkshake just froze and now we're ready to pop these little popsicles out. So what you're gonna do is take this little jobber, it's got a screw, and you're just gonna screw down and you just keep doing this and it will pull the popsicle out. Oh, there we go, look how cute that is. Once the popsicles popped out, then you're gonna unscrew it the other way to get this little jobber off. And then you're gonna put on the little drip tray so it will catch anything that drips. For the final decoration step, we're gonna make the little eyes. You can use whatever you like, there's so many options. I'm gonna use a little mini paintbrush and some black food coloring dye. Ta-da! Here are the strawberry milkshake Super Mario mushroom popsicles. 
I hope you guys liked them. These are so cute. I will be posting lots of pictures on Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you guys have any other ideas for any other nitty nubbies, please let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to make it happen. Also, if you guys end up using the Zoku, let me know, send me pictures. I love to retweet and reblog your creations. I just get a big kick out of seeing them. And it is official, the Zoku Popsicle device is now one of my kitchen favorites. I'm adding it to my list of favorites because it is a kitchen gadget that actually works. It's really fun. You can make a ton of little characters like this. All right, thanks again, you guys. Bye bye. Do 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 do